there are two types of semi-permanent couplers. The semi-permanent coupler with buffer and the semi-permanent coupler with deformation tube. The semi-permanent coupler with buffer is located on the DT car. It is a mechanical coupler that couples with the semi-permanent coupler of M car. and joins the DT with the M car. The important parts of the semi-permanent coupler with buffer are the air pipe connection is mounted parallel to the coupler shank. The single air pipe connection consists of a pipe with a gasket. While coupling, the air pipe connections are tightly pressed against each other and connect the air pipes of the coupled vehicles. The coupler face has the centering element which contains the centering pin and the centering bush. While coupling, the centering pin slides into the centering bush. The coupler shank consists of the friction spring and the gas hydraulic damper. The damper is set to manage the predefined impact force range. Within this range, the coupler shank responds in a predefined manner to the impact. If the impact is more than the predefined limit, the excessive impact is managed by compressing and overflowing of the gas and hydraulic media. After the impact, the coupler shank returns to its normal position, bearing bracket with vertical support. The bearing bracket connects the coupler and the vehicle. It is designed to transmit the draft and the buff loads into the car under frame. The bearing bracket is connected to the coupler shank by a pivot that allows the horizontal movement of the coupler shank. The bearing bracket is fastened to the anchoring plate on the car under frame with four bolts. The coupler shank is supported by a rubber supporting spring that is connected to the bearing bracket via a vertical support. The supporting spring has adjusting nuts and screws that allows vertical adjustments or inclination of the coupler. The centering device holds the coupler in line with the longitudinal axis of the vehicle and prevents the coupler from swiveling beyond its predefined range. The muff coupling connects the two semi-permanent couplers with each other via a collar called the muff coupling collar. The connection can be opened wherever required. The shear of bolts define the predetermined breaking point between the coupler and vehicle for impacts exceeding the predefined load. In case of a heavy impact, the shear of bolts shear off. The force flow is interrupted and the coupler shank is guided through the bearing bracket into the vehicle. The earth wire. The gangway interface of the coupler. The coupler is able to support the gangway and bear the load of 8 people per square meter.